What's going on, guys? All right, here she is. This is the DeWalt 20 volt brushless chainsaw, and it is absolutely amazing. I want to give a shout out to DeWalt. They really, really, really slam dunked it with this chainsaw, guys. I can't say how much I'm impressed with it. You know, the guys that follow me, whether on Toolboss or Supreme Services, you guys know how much I love um, my old Makita. My 36 volt, use it all the time, and I rave about it. But I will probably never use this saw again because, you know, this is a 36 volt. You got two batteries on it. It is so much heavier than the DeWalt. But not only is the DeWalt lighter, more compact, pretty much easier to use. You know, just everything is just perfect on it, whether it's the oil reservoir. Um, you know, I love this system uh, with the chain. Right here is where you tighten the chain. All you do is loosen this. You guys who have chainsaws, you understand. You just loosen this. It tells you lock, uh, lock and unlock right here. You just loosen it, and this is how you tighten it. You don't need any tools. Toolless. No screwdriver. Nothing. Um, it's just an awesome chainsaw, guys. Um, if you're familiar with their recip saws, you know, even their circular saws, uh, the safety is just like that. I love it. It's, you know, we talked about the uh, Makita, their 14-inch. Uh, you know, you kind of got to press a button, and if you don't pull the trigger within three seconds, it won't work. I love how they just kept it really simple, DeWalt. Press your button and squeeze the trigger. You're ready to go. Um, I also love where the handle is on this chainsaw. Um, the one thing about the Makita, real quick, this is where it is. So you can't really, you know, put your hands up top if you're trying to, you know, tilt it a little bit. It's always, you know, kind of hard with this Makita. And you can see how much it comes out. I mean, look at this, this much, all right? Look at this. It's almost double the size. And, you know, it would be fine if the um, Makita was stronger, uh, more powerful uh, than this DeWalt, but it's not. This has a brushless motor, guys. Um, I was absolutely shocked at how well it cut. I mean, we cut probably a 10 to 12 inch, um, you know, fallen down piece of oak. Um, just cut it. You know, I was very surprised these saws... You know, these 12 inch saws, guys, you know, especially a 20 volt, you know, made for 4x4s, you know, 2x4s, jump on the job site to make some quick cuts. Um, you know, I kind of put it into a, you know, a normal chainsaw. We, we cut some oak, we cut some limbs off of, um, you know, some fallen down oak. And um, it, it absolutely amazed me that it could do what it could do. It is absolutely so light, guys. I can't say enough about the power and the size ratio of it um, totally, totally kicks the Makita's butt. Now, you got to remember, that Makita was $199, bare tool. Might be down a little bit. You know, it's been out two or three years now. This is $129 as a bare tool um, to get what you get, a brushless motor, an Oregon chain, um, the DeWalt name, three-year warranty, you know, one year service and you know, ninety day money day, ninety day money back guarantee. You know, it's tough to pass up this chainsaw, guys. You know, we're gonna go over it real quick. I'm gonna show you all the features of it, but you know, if you're looking for a chainsaw for around the house for the job site, this is the best twelve inch chainsaw on the market, hands down, no doubt. And again, I, I want to give the wall a total, you know total shout out that they were able to put this saw together you know make it as good as it is you know in that 18 slash 20 volt platform you know this is pretty much the only one out there it's pretty much the first one to have a 12 inch you know 18 20 volt chainsaw yeah black and decker um you know ryobi in the day had an 18 volt chainsaw it was a 10 inch but you know, what this saw can accomplish in that 18-volt platform is absolutely amazing. And again, I want to give him a shout-out. 
All right, so you got your 12-inch bar. You got your Oregon chain, top of the line, cuts awesome. You got your kickback bar right here. That's your safety right here. You know, it'll click. Once it clicks, you're ready to go. Um, if you're familiar with, um, you know, the Waltz tools, the recip saw, the circular saw, works just like that. You press the button and pull the trigger, and you're ready to go. Real simple. Um, like I said, you got a brushless motor. This is the DCC S620, and then have the, the um, specs on it right there. 20 volt max DC, a bar length 12 inch, chain speed 7.7, 25.3 feet per second. Replacement bar, everything. Awesome. If you ever got to replace your bar, your chain, it's right on the uh, chainsaw. Awesome. Uh, we talked about the oil reservoir right here. It's so easy to use, guys. I, I love the DeWalt um, platform. Or the platform. I love DeWalt's chainsaw. Uh, chainsaws, the way they have it set up with the um, tightening of the chain, the oil reservoir. I mean, you simply just loosen this, you pull this out. Obviously, that says unlock and that says tight. You, you loosen it a little bit, and then this is how you tight your, tighten your chain. And it tells you right there minus plus. So, absolutely, you can't make it any easier. Totally toolless. Um, you know, definitely the best setup out there. You know, the wall is really kicking butt with these chainsaw guys. You know, they have a 40 volt, which is probably the best cordless lithium ion chainsaw on the market, no doubt. All right, I mean, what it can do. Now, you guys see me do the 60 volt, the uh, flex volt, the wall chainsaw, which was absolutely amazing. And you saw how well that cut. And I mean, I got so many comments on. You know, how shocked, oh, I couldn't believe it. You know, as much as you couldn't believe that, the 40 volt was even better than that. So, and now they come out with the 20 volt. So you got a 40 volt, a 60 volt, and now you got a 20 volt. The wall has everything covered. Um, great, great platform. Again, real comfortable saw. Um, you know, you got top of the line, you got an Oregon bar and chain. Um, the tightening system is so easy. You know, a five-year-old can do it. No tools. Um, you could put the 9 amp hour battery. Now, like I said, or like it read, um, with a 5 amp hour battery fully charged, you can cut up to 90 four pressure treated 4x4s. Four okay? But you can also put on the 9 amp hour battery. So do the math. Um, you know, if you want to use the uh, FlexVolt 9 amp hour battery, pretty much 90 cuts, you double it. 180 you know between 160 and 180 okay you're going to be able to cut up to 160 pressure treated 4x4s on one battery you know that's what really separates this from the Makita you know we talked about the the the, the compact size the weight difference you know you only need one battery instead of two but where this really puts the Makita away is just I mean, I did all that cutting out there. It was 15 minutes straight of cutting. Um, you know, some of the stuff I didn't film, obviously. But 15 minutes, and I still have two bars on my battery. So the battery life of this tool just totally outperforms the Makita. You know, the thing with the Makita, you use it, you know, 15 minutes you're pretty much down to one bar and you're just about really done so you know that's what makes you know the Makita like I said is a brushed chainsaw and it's a nice chainsaw guys but obviously for 199 and this is 129 you know unless you're in that Makita platform and you really love it um, this is definitely the saw to get hands down no doubt about it but like I said any comments or questions, let me know. Um, you know, we'll do a little talk about it. Maybe we'll do a live chat later tonight about it, and uh, we'll talk more about it. I was so impressed with this chainsaw, guys. Um, you know, again, you got to think about it. This is an 18 volt battery, and you know, to cut a 10, 12 inch piece of oak, I mean, that is just amazing. So. 
absolutely check it out any comments questions let me know um if you're interested i'll put the links underneath um but yeah the wall hit a home run slam dunk with this chainsaw